Detective James Lawson leaned back in his worn-out chair, staring at the dimly lit room through the haze of cigarette smoke. The rain tapped on the window, a rhythm that echoed the pounding in his head. The clock on the wall read 2.37 a.m. Another sleepless night in the gritty city. A week had passed since the murder of millionaire philanthropist Richard Harlow, and the case was like a puzzle missing crucial pieces. Lawson had been chasing leads in every dark corner of the city, but the elusive killer remained a shadowy figure, leaving a trail of deception. The phone on his desk rang, jolting him from his thoughts. With a weary sigh, he answered. Lawson. A gravelly voice spoke from the other end. Detective, meet me at the docks in an hour. I've got information on the Harlow case. Before Lawson could respond, the line went dead. He frowned, stubbing out his cigarette. A mysterious informant was nothing new, but the docks at night added an extra layer of danger. He grabbed his coat and headed into the rain-soaked streets. The docks were cloaked in darkness when Lawson arrived. He navigated the labyrinth of shipping containers, footsteps echoing against the damp concrete. The air was thick with tension as he reached the designated spot. A lone figure emerged from the shadows, face obscured by the collar of a trench coat. Detective Lawson, I presume, the figure said, voice a low whisper. Lawson nodded. What do you know about the Harlow case? The informant stepped into a dim pool of light, revealing piercing eyes that seemed to hold the secrets of the city. Harlow's death wasn't random. It was a meticulously planned hit. Lawson raised an eyebrow. Why should I believe you? The informant handed him a sealed envelope. Evidence. It'll lead you to the puppeteer pulling the strings. As quickly as the informant appeared, he vanished into the night. Lawson opened the envelope to find a set of photographs and a cryptic note. The images showed Harlow in clandestine meetings with high-profile figures, the kind that could make or break a man. The note hinted at a secret society, manipulating the city's power players like pieces on a chessboard. Determined to unravel the truth, Lawson delved deeper into the evidence. The photographs led him to an underground casino frequented by the city's elite. With a carefully crafted alias, he infiltrated the high-stakes poker game, seeking information from the tight-lipped players. As the night wore on, Lawson found himself face-to-face -face with Isabella Devereaux, a femme fatale with a reputation for playing both sides of the law. Her icy gaze met his, and a dangerous game of cat and mouse began. Isabella had ties to the secret society, but her motives remained shrouded in mystery. The tension escalated when a masked gunman stormed the casino, firing shots into the air. Chaos erupted, and Lawson seized the opportunity to confront Isabella. They retreated to a dimly lit alley, rain masking the intensity of their exchange. Who's behind Harlow's murder? Lawson demanded. Isabella smirked, her eyes betraying a hint of amusement. You're playing a dangerous game, detective. Some secrets are better left buried. Before Lawson could press further, a shadowy figure emerged from the darkness, clad in black. A sleek blade glinted in his hand as he advanced towards them. The masked assailant spoke in a cold, calculated tone. You're meddling in affairs that don't concern you, detective. Walk away now, or you'll suffer the consequences. Lawson squared his shoulders, determined to unravel the web of deceit. With lightning reflexes, he drew his weapon, and a gunshot echoed through the alley. The masked assailant crumpled to the ground, revealing a tattoo on his wrist, the symbol of the secret society. Isabella's eyes widened, a mix of surprise and frustration. You just made a grave mistake, detective. The revelation fueled Lawson's determination. He traced the symbol back to a dilapidated warehouse on the outskirts of the city, where the secret society held its clandestine meetings. The air inside was thick with tension as he moved through the shadows, inching closer to the truth. In a dimly lit chamber, Lawson discovered a wall covered in photographs and newspaper clippings, a chilling mosaic connecting the secret society to a web of corruption, extortion, and political manipulation. The puppeteer pulling the strings was none other than a respected city official, Charles Kingsley. The realization hit Lawson like a punch to the gut. Kingsley, a pillar of the community, was orchestrating a criminal empire from the shadows. 
With evidence in hand, Lawson raced against time to expose the truth before the city crumbled under Kingsley's control. As he prepared to bring Kingsley to justice, Lawson received an anonymous tip about a secret meeting at the abandoned Harlow mansion. The final confrontation unfolded in the grand ballroom, where shadows whispered of betrayal and power. Kingsley stood at the center, surrounded by loyal followers. Isabella Devereux loomed in the background, her allegiances still unclear. Lawson confronted Kingsley, exposing the evidence that would bring his empire crashing down. The room erupted in chaos as Kingsley's henchmen moved to silence Lawson. Shots echoed through the mansion, and the rain outside intensified, mirroring the storm within. Lawson fought with determination, each gunshot bringing him closer to justice. In the final showdown, Isabella revealed her true allegiance, turning against Kingsley and aiding Lawson in the fight against the corrupt official. The mansion became a battleground, a symbol of the city's struggle for redemption. As the dust settled, Lawson stood victorious, Kingsley in handcuffs and Isabella disappearing into the night. The city, once held captive by shadows of deceit, began to heal. The storm that had raged for weeks finally subsided, leaving behind a city forever changed by the relentless pursuit of justice. Detective James Lawson stood in the rain-soaked aftermath, contemplating the thin line between right and wrong. The shadows may never fully dissipate, but as long as there were those willing to fight against the darkness, the city had a chance at redemption.